Welcome back to the channel and today we are looking at some awesome creations on the Instruments of Destruction workshop once again and this is a bipedal walker by Rosley Othman. Now this is kind of a walker themed episode. A lot of them are going to be walkers but not all of them. We like to add in some variety here and there but uh, we're starting off with this one which uh, we're pulling off some Michael Jackson moves right here at the start. What does Y do? Turns on red lights. <laughs> I wonder if that's actually doing anything. There also seems to be a control panel back here of some sort, but all right, well, well let's just press W and uh, see how it walks. Here we go. This is a very, uh, this is a very happy walker, it seems like. <laughs> it has, a, it prances. Is more of a prancer than a walker. It doesn't have any weapons or anything, but uh, I guess that it has its purpose. It knows its purpose. It's not an instrument of destruction. It is a bipedal walker, nothing less, and especially nothing more than a bipedal walker. It can walk through buildings though, so I guess it kind of can be an instrument of destruction. Bipedal walking destruction. It's just got two sets of pistons uh, attached to a bunch of hinges. We got this piston on the upper leg here, and then this piston behind the knee, and it just walks with the help of some uh, some, some gyroscopes, of course. Wait, what? Does it walk on water? I did not think it was going to be able to walk on. Okay, now we're sinking. Well, I mean, it's doing okay. I did not expect that though. We're we're like uh, we're water skiing practically. All right, the walkers are evolving. So this is interesting. This is the Mayo linkage mech legs by Detal, and this is essentially kind of like a template for walking apparently. You can build your own mech off of these legs. This is just the legs. Q activates the gyroscope to say balance. And let's see how it walks here. Whoa. Oh, that's really cool. The only thing about this is uh, it doesn't have turning. Here, let's go backwards now. I mean, I guess you could add turning with gyroscopes as well. It doesn't seem to walk backwards nearly as well as it walks forwards. I mean, it is kind of a little bit more stable just because it's slower, but it, it is also slower. Yeah, let me respawn back in so we're facing straight again. I actually want to slow down the game because I want to watch this in slow motion. Here we go. Check this out. This one has more of like a jogging feel to it. I kind of like it. That's a cool linkage. So where's the... Oh, okay, so the rotation is coming from back here. How interesting. Because, yeah, I was noticing this is just swinging back and forth uh, up on, like, the, I don't know, the hip, the hip joints up here. Yeah, so that is kind of interesting. I don't know how people come up with these linkages, like, in reality. Like, it, it's such an unintuitive series of connections. But this is definitely a pretty smooth walker. I mean, that's kind of the purpose of a lot of linkages is to create a nice smooth walking motion. All right, now taking a break from the walkers for a minute here, we have the Beam Tower by Johnny Arson. And this is such an interesting design. I, I, I love the contours of this. This looks so interesting. Kind of reminds me of an observatory. Oh. What do we got going on over here? All right, um, W-A-S-D. Wait, does it move? It moves? I wasn't expecting that. Wait, and it turns? Look at the turning. Why is the ground rumbling? Is this thing that heavy or is it, I guess maybe it's the thrusters inside? Okay, what about uh the arrows? Oh, 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 this is cool. Is this based off of something? Like, is this, is this something, a, a model of something in like a movie or a video game? or real life because this is such a unique design that I don't know. I don't know if it's based off of anything, but uh, I think we only have one more button left to press. So let's press it. Here we go. <laughs> well, we cut that uh, cut the top of that building off. No problem. All right. How about these dummies up here? Actually, I don't know how lasers affect dummies. Well, about to find out. Whoa. It pushes. It pushes really hard against the dummies. That's interesting because it doesn't really push the buildings. It just kind of disintegrates the buildings. But I guess when it comes to dummies, it just pushes. All right, well, hold on. I kind of want to spawn in a car. Let me spawn in some cars. Does it push the cars? What does it do to the cars? All right, here we go. Whoa. It just deteriorates them until they explode. And it also pushes them, apparently. <laughs> Just spawning a bunch of cars inside the path of uh, the lasers. Look at all the tires. Are you guys getting tired of this yet? All right, and then up next, we have the Thorny Bristlebot by Zombie Ninja. I just thought this thing looked really cool and I wanted to see what it does. All right, and here we go. 
Wait, what? Wait, what? Is that an actual method of propulsion? What? Is this real? Is there nothing else propelling this other than putting these on an angle? Oh, uh, I don't understand. Are they pushing? Oh, I gotta look at, are, do these have a setting? Input one. These are pistons on input one, which is hooked into, there's a logic gate inside here. All right, I'm gonna make a hole. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. I forgot to add the, uh, the advanced controls. So it looks like this is actually oscillating the pistons. They're oscillating the pistons really fast, just in really, really tiny little increments. So you know what? Oh, slow motion might be great for this. Okay, so here is when we go forward. Now, if I go super slow-mo, look at that. That is an, th this is a genius way of getting around. I would have never thought that this, like I would have never thought of this. I'm surprised at how effective that is. All right, well, it, it, this is instrument instruction. I gotta, uh, and turning is so difficult to do, but I gotta try to drive this thing into a building. Here we go, here we go. Hey, hey, that's actually not too bad. Considering the, the, the method of propulsion, doing pretty well. It has some decent force behind it. The spikes probably do help. Oh, look at all the debris in our spikes. <laughs> all right, we have returned home. All right, up next, whoa, this is a lot of stuff. This is a lot of stuff, it's still going. This is Acla Bombarda Maxima by Arad. Not sure what that means, oh man. Wait, is this what I think it is? Are these half wheels uh, where the wheel was split in half and it totally worked? All right, well, let's see what happens. Yep, that's totally what it does. <laughs> Why? All right, uh, up and down. Okay, so we're aiming up a little bit. Let's go ahead and turn. So we're aiming towards it. The... Is there something like there? I don't see any ammo in here. What's going to happen? I'm going to press number one. That's our aiming lasers. Okay, well, here we go. I'm pressing E. That's the last button left to press. Three, two, one. One. Oh, oh. Um. What? What just happened? Oh, there's a whole bunch of turbines in here. I see. All right, let's move a little bit closer. I'm gonna hold E this time. Ready? Go. Well. There goes the buildings and the frames. This destroys the game frames and the buildings themselves. So this is, I'm kind of confused how this works because a lot of these look like they're facing the wrong way. I wonder if it's just omnidirectional. Like it doesn't matter if you're in front or behind. This is such a weird creation. It lags out the game so much too. But it looks like it's just a giant turbine. Move in a little bit closer and there it goes. Yeah, it just kind of destroys the building with an invisible force. <laughs> just looking at it, it disintegrates the buildings. Yeah, I had no idea what to expect with this. I thought it was going to shoot something. Well, I mean, I guess it technically does. It shoots, you know, air particles. It's basically a hurricane machine. All right, and then up next, back to the Walker theme, uh, we have the Mayo Amber linkage by Detal. So another linkage template that is different than... Oh, is it different than the previous one? Or is it just four of those now? So... I think maybe the bipedal one that we saw, maybe this is like what it looks like with four of them all together. Oh, whoa, this looks so cool. I love that we have the tail on there and everything. And now this one has turning. When you put four of them together, you can just put a joint in between the front and the back legs and then suddenly you're able to turn. Man, this thing looks so good. It really does, it looks smooth. They're like the perfect distance. They look like they're gonna collide, but they leave just enough room for each other. All right, let's slow it down for satisfaction's sake. And the, the suspension, the suspension on the feet help out so much to smoothen it out. And it gives it that little bit of a jog feel, slight hop in between the steps. That is really cool. But can this one walk on water? No. Okay, up next for something completely different. Uh, we've got Com Pinball Machine by Stefan. Apparently, we get to play some pinball. Oh boy, if the game can even handle it. Okay, what am I? I'm just gonna press the buttons in order. Number one. Oh, oh wait, wait, no, 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 no. Uh, okay, here we go, here we go. What? What? Uh. What? I don't even know what's happening. This is amazing. All right, ready? Eh. What? Ah, there's noises. What are these noises? This is so weird. What is all up here? Do I gotta try to get it? 
get the ball all the way up there. Come on. That one spike just keeps blocking me. Oh, what? The noise, the sound design of this is so cool. Like these are all, I think sounds using the sound blocks. Those are not uh, built in sounds. There we go. Man, where are all these buttons though? I, I'll just press up. Uh oh, well, oh no, what's that? Oh, I'm gonna lose. What does F do? Oh, F opens that. Oh, I lost a life. Oh, there goes another one. This is so crazy. All right, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to get all the way up there though. All right, you know what? I gotta fast forward. I gotta, I gotta up the game speed a little bit here. Oh, now what's happening? What's that noise? Come on. Oh, I have another, I didn't realize I have another flipper up there. <laughs> this is so good. How do you have all these sound effects? Is there really that much? Is there that much to choose from for sounds? It is this this spike in the middle is like just destroying all of my shots. That's so awesome. Eh. Oh, 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 yes, I'm up there. What do I do now? What do I do now? What do I do now? Eh. Come on, get up in the thing. No, oh, I was so close. I want to know what happens when I get up in there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, though. Oh, and well, there goes another life. All right, let's watch what happens now that I've lost a life. Oh, there we go. I just dropped another ball down. There it goes. Down into here. Such a convoluted mechanism. And then it gets shot out of there, I assume. Do I gotta press the F button, maybe? Oh! That's so cool. It pulls the thing back. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Dang it. Dang it. Come on. Come on. I'm never gonna be able to get up there. That spike right there is in the worst spot. Oh, come on. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay. I gotta time this perfect. Gotta time this perfect right there. Oh, what? Oh, I got hit by the edge. This is just like perfectly stacked against me. That is, oh man, this is so cool to watch. You know, I'm realizing that this is making a really good use, I believe, of the proximity sensors, which the proximity sensors can be set to detect a sphere, like a radius of when anything comes into, into that radius. So that's probably what's going on here. Oh, and there's a failure. All right, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to get up into there, but um, just watching this game in action was pretty awesome. All right, up next, we've got another walker. This is the Light Assault Mech Mark II by Pointy. So let's see how this one walks. This one seems to have one piston. The first walker we looked at had two sets of pistons. So let's see what this one's like now. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, this is not what I was expecting. Very tiny steps. Oh, it looks like I can aim my guns, and then turn my torso around. All right, let me turn myself this way though. And then E. This is a mech with some instruments of destruction. And it looks like it has, I don't think these are actually, I think these, these are just for aesthetics, but it looks like it almost has rockets or thrusters. There we go, we can aim all around and just destroy our target. Let's see how it does when it's walking while it is shooting. Not bad. The recoil isn't affected that much. I really like the aesthetics that some people are able to put into uh, some of their creations, despite like the, the build grid can be a little bit uh, difficult to work with if you're just using the basic blocks. But so learning how to use all of the smaller blocks and like position everything, it goes a long way for the aesthetics in this game. All right, what about uh, if I just walk into a building now? You know, this building's closer. <laughs> it takes such small steps. I don't want to go that far. There we go. Yeah, this one is not quite as strong of a walker as far as its actual uh, movement strength compared to some of the other walkers that were able to just walk through the buildings. That's why we have guns on this one. All right, up next, we have Hex XY8 by Tika Marie 17 This looks like a... Whoa. I keep forgetting that you can, like, do stuff like this in this game now. What? Oh, it strafes? That's not what I was expecting. What was that? Oh, it's camera. It's camera control because of the new camera part. This is insane. This is so weird looking. And then left shift is a crazy boost. This is amazing. I kind of want to like, I want to see what the front of it looks like, but it won't let me look. All right, now uh, uh, arrows. Oh, we can aim these up and down too. This is so cool looking. All right. Whoa, that's a lot of recoil. All right, hold on. Boost. There we go. There we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, this thing is brutal. Wait, so what is actually happening when we sh press shift? I want to go down slow motion. Oh, I was on fast motion that whole time, too. 
There we go. Interesting. So that's what was happening. All right, so at normal speed, this is what this thing feels like at normal speed, minus the frame rate issues because the buildings are collapsing. There we go. That feels a little bit more normal. Look at that. So cool. Man, I love the design of this. I'm kind of annoyed that I can't actually see it. Wait, maybe if I change my camera? No, see, it's like, it's just going to follow the camera. No matter where my camera's facing, it's going to face in that direction. All right, what about in build mode? Oh, it does look like, I, th I thought in build mode it might not look the same, but this does look pretty cool in build mode too. Although, no, yeah, that's how it looks. Okay, sometimes things look a little bit different once they come out of build mode. But yeah, such a cool creation. All right, up next, I don't really know what to expect with this. This is Demon Core by Jacuje, and it's only got WASD controls. What are you going to do? Okay, oh. Oh, oh, that's disturbing. Oh, that is, the, the expansion. I don't know why the expansion is a little bit disturbing. It is so deadly. You know what this is using? That new part that uh, it moves. Where, what is it called? Where, where is it? I, I can't even like get, get to it, but there is a new part. The repulsor drive. So the repulsor drive has a setting on it that uh, allows it to not only, that's the one that allows you to move in the direction of the camera, but it also has a rotation setting. So you can rotate it in the direction that the camera is facing. So if I press W in this direction, you see it rotates in that direction. If I press W in this direction, it rotates in that direction. So wherever my camera is facing, it just rolls in that direction. And this is like the perfect creation for that, or the perfect use. It drives up the buildings. That is epic. I gotta do that again. I gotta do that again. It eats, like it eats its way up through the building. Hold on, let me respawn that building and this is like the perfect building for it right here. Oh, that time it just went through it. Just a big old hole right in the building. All right, what about this one? Come on. Oh man, it's it's not reliable to drive up the building. That was so cool when it did happen though. Uh, whoa, man, we're creating like shock waves. Look at that, there we go, another shock wave. I just did a shock wave inside the building. What is even going on right now? What just happened? The destruction of this is so unique. I don't know, like it's such a simple concept but it has such a like, just a unique effect that I haven't really gotten from other creations. All right, I love that. I actually really, really like that one a lot. Up last, one final walker to end off on, and this is the SW12 by Sue Fighter. All right, so apparently with G, we activate the gyros. It should give it some stability, even though we're still kind of walking. And then I guess Y and H to walk? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So each button is a step. So I got to alternate the buttons. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is such an aggressive walk. That is so aggressive. That is awesome. But there are a lot of other controls on this thing. And look when it walks, it like tilts that thing back and forth as well. Can this thing even turn though? All right, what, what does A and D do? Oh, so if I do, if I hold A and then I walk, Oh, okay, I don't understand. Uh, what am I even doing? I, I'm just gonna ignore the turning for now. So then we have E. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, then we've got R, RT. Oh, oh, am I supposed to be shooting that through my own propeller? Oh, yeah, hold on, maybe I gotta bring that back in and then do, there we go. So I can just, I can just spit on a bomb. Bloop. Oh, interesting. So it comes down and then it shoots. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering why there was a little bit of a delay. That makes more sense now. And we have arrows. What? Is that a jump? Is that supposed to be a jump? Or is that supposed to be a, uh, a shockwave generator? Because it does both. Hold on. So wait, is there like a... If I do that and then I press the, the down arrow. Oh no, the up arrow. Well, I guess if it's an up arrow, maybe it is supposed to uh, be a jump. That's crazy. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff to try here then. I need to turn this on and walk into a building. I don't know which building we're gonna hit, but I hope we hit a building. Yes. Yes, perfect. Oh, that is so good. Okay, all right. Now I wanna try the, uh, the shockwave thing. All right, and here we go. 
This is such a cool concept. The shockwave thing is so cool. Or the jump. I really, I don't know. I don't know what the intent is. I'm trying to figure out. I, I think I can kind of turn myself if I press my, uh, the timing of my steps in particular ways. All right, ready? Wait, I'm like blowing the buildings away. Do you see that? I didn't realize there's also a turbine or something that blows the debris away. That's kind of cool. All right, here comes another shockwave. This is such an awesome creation. The stuff that things can do in this game, like, I don't know why, but it keeps staying, like, fresh. It's not just repeats of the same exact stuff. Like, I mean, we have all the same elements, but they're just used in such unique ways every time that I'm like, oh, like, I knew we could make shockwaves. I knew we could destroy buildings, but doing it in that manner was not something I really imagined. But Sue Fighter did imagine it, and we thank you for that. So which one of these creations was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrabman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.